Hey everyone, welcome back to Dev Parkour. I'm Brian Parks, and in this video, I want to talk about this math problem. You may have seen this uh, on the internet. I saw this uh, floating around a few weeks ago. Um, and basically, the question is, not only what is the answer, but, but why? Um, and, well, we can make this video really short. The answer is 10. Okay, later. No, okay, but seriously, why is the answer 10? Well, if you think back to, I don't, I don't know, what is this, second or third grade math, uh, we talked about order of operations, right? And we may have learned an acronym called PEMDAS, or maybe the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or something along those lines. And basically what that means is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, in order to use it, we actually have to kind of remember what that actually means, which is that first we look for parentheses and we handle all the groupings uh, from inside out, right? So uh, if we had multiple groupings of parentheses with nesting, we would start in the innermost one, evaluate that, and then go out from there. Next, or specifically within those groupings, then we look for exponents. Exponents always get ex uh, evaluated next uh, within those groups. And then we would look for multiplication and division. They are actually at the same level of order of operations. So even though they're different letters in the, the acronym or the, the phrase, they are actually evaluated at the same time uh, from left to right. And then finally, addition and subtraction. Again, at the same time from left to right. So doing that, going back to this problem, two plus two times four. Well, multiplication comes before addition. So two times four is eight. And then we do the addition, two plus eight is 10. Now, why am I talking about this on a channel about software engineering? The reason is because, let me actually get out of that and go over to Safari. Um, while that expression always, always, 100%, always, always, always evaluates to 10, despite what this uh, poll might suggest, which as the comment reads, uh, I really don't know if uh, it just went away. Hang on. I don't know what stresses me out more, the fact that 26% of the people somehow got 13 as their answer, or that the correct answer isn't even an option, because the answers were 16, 15, 14, or 13. I don't even know how people got some of those numbers, to be honest. I do understand how they got 16, and we're actually going to look at this later on in the video. Um, but the key is that for math, that expression, 2 plus 2 times 4, always, 100% of the time, gets evaluated to 10. Uh, and even Google is smart enough to pull that up. If you type in 2 plus 2 times 4 into Google, aside from getting lots of answer questions at the bottom uh, along the lines of what is the correct answer and um, what is order of operations and then other questions asking about the meme, um, it will tell you that the answer is 10. See that? Over the, the right hand side, the answer is 10. However, if you go to like your standard four function calculator, which you may have used you know, a long, long time ago, uh, like this one, I think this is, the, the website is theonlinecalculator.com. So what I'm going to do is, let me get that into the camera. So what I'm going to do is 2 plus 2 times 4 equals, it says 16. So what's going on here? Well, the real answer is that when we typed 2 plus 2 times 4 into this four function calculator, 
we were actually describing a completely different expression, right? Because with a four function calculator, it's not a mathematical evaluation tool. It's more of an accumulator. Uh, you may have heard of something called an adding machine. Same thing. Basically what these tools do, what these calculators do, is they don't take an expression as a whole and evaluate it according to order of operations. They expect you to input the expression into them in the order in which things should be evaluated. So the first thing we did was we, we pressed a two and it said, okay, I have no previous operations. I got a number, let me store a number. The next thing we did was hit plus and it said, okay, you must be done entering a number. Let me store this two as a number. And remember that the operation I'm going to perform is a plus. The next thing we did was enter a two and it said, okay, a number. This must be the, you know, the second operand of this operation that I'm about to perform. The next thing we, we pressed was times. And it said, okay, this is no longer a number. Let me do the operation because I have an operation plus and two operands. So I must need to do that operation and then use that as the new first operand for this second operation you just gave me. So it does two plus two, it stores four, and then it remembers four as the first operand and multiplication as the operation. Then we hit four and it says, okay, I have a second operand, maybe, I'm not quite sure yet. But then we hit the equals button and the calculator says, okay, you are done entering numbers. That means the second operand is four. So I have a first operand, four, which was computed from the first operation, a second operand, four, and an operation, multiplication. Four times four is 16. Now, why is this important in the context of computer science? The reason is because when we're parsing anything. You know, if it's expressions are, are fairly well understood and easy to reason about. But even when we start talking about uh, Boolean logic or the structure of general syntax, uh, you know, if and else and for and while and that sort of thing, we need to be very careful with how we're understanding the order of the, the tokens, the order of the, the pieces that go into that, that, that syntax. Um, because if we don't, we start getting into what might look like ambiguous situations. Uh, lots of the comments uh, on you know, various places uh, talked about that expression, two plus two times four, as being ambiguous. And from the mathematical perspective, we absolutely know it's not ambiguous. However, it's only ambiguous if we don't specify the context in which we're understanding it. So two plus two times four, if we're talking about the expression, what is the value of this expression mathematically? Now we know the context. We know we need to evaluate that expression mathematically, and the answer is 10. However, if, it, if we're describing the series of buttons to press on a four function calculator, which does not do math, does not evaluate expressions mathematically, but does more of an accumulation sort of computation. If we're describing the order of the, the order and specific type of button to press on a four function calculator, that is a completely different context. If we say we have to press the two button first and then press the plus button and then the two button and then the times button and then the four button and then equals, uh, that's kind of implied, that is a completely different thing. And in that case, the answer is 16. However, just to avoid creating any more confusion, the, the, uh, the specific question was, what is the value of uh, 
2 times 2, sorry, 2 plus 2 times 4. What is the value? I guess it's not stated. But the implication is, what is the value of 2 plus 2 times 4? No parentheses. Clearly a mathematical expression. The value of 2 plus 2 times 4 is 10. The question was not, what do you get when you type this series of buttons into a four-function calculator? So, I think I've beaten that dead horse. Uh, now, since we're talking about order of operations and what various computation tools ex are expecting, what is the correct series of buttons that you would press on a four-function calculator in order to get the correct answer? Well, because we have to be responsible for communicating the proper order of operations, what we would actually type is 2 times 4 plus 2. And there we go. We would get 10. So, hopefully you found this video exciting, insightful. Um, if you did, be sure to give that, that thumbs up button a, 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 a click. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, uh, and it's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. And hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when I post more videos, um, probably more technical-oriented videos. Um, this was kind of a, a fun, fun diversion for a bit. So be sure to hit that th subscribe button, that notification bell, that like button, and leave a comment down below if you have opinions on this. Um, just be forewarned. The answer is 10.